we're going to make a birthday smoothie. And I'm doing more smoothies a little bit. Now I'm doing a little less cooked. So you guys know where most of us are on our journeys to be healthier, get this house in health, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do a really filling protein powered breakfast smoothie. And you can drink it anytime, but I do this for breakfast. Um, it's actually easier for me, especially when you're working long hours. I'm not always able to stop and eat, like I'll you know, take my time and eat at work. So what I do is I try to now make sure that I have a hearty um, smoothie so that by the time lunchtime comes, I can go ahead and take my time to eat. But sometimes I don't get a breakfast break, y'all. So let's just put some good old fresh fruit together. Well, it's frozen. But the best thing to do, I've learned, is to get fruit in season because it's really sweet. I don't add sweeteners to my smoothie most times. If I do, um, it might be a date. Or sometimes it's honey. I don't mind. I do honey. Okay? So... This is a tropical mix. This is pineapple, mango, strawberry. That's the mix that I use in this jar. And what I also start doing sometimes is I fill these up with my fruit and I go ahead and put them in the freezer and that makes it easy for that work week. You know, preparation we talked about is very key, remember? I put a banana in. Yes, I know it's loaded with potassium, but also this banana changes things. So I take these bananas as ripe and I freeze them myself. This banana changes things for me. It also adds a little sweetness for me and at the same time it's creamy. So I love a creamy smoothie. Okay? So there we go. I'm going to put this back in my freezer. This is something you can do. I usually have a bunch of bananas because I go ahead and I bag them and freeze them myself. It also saves some money. I'm trying to buy frozen fruit. I take the fruit that's ripe, I cut it up, and I throw it in the freezer, okay? So what's going to give us our protein, okay? What are we gonna do for protein here? We're gonna go ahead and take some walnuts. Walnuts are next in line under the almonds for the highest source of plant protein. And I've just started really liking walnuts a lot recently. So I'm on a walnut kick. So I'm gonna throw in some walnuts, okay? also going to throw in some sunflower seeds yes sunflower seeds not the ones that you crack in your mouth and take out that has the salt on the outside we're just going to use some dry sunflower seeds they are not roasted they're considered raw okay throw that in a tablespoon and you know i've got some good old hemp seeds so in a sense we're going to also make almost like a nut milk with this at the same time because we're throwing in all these seeds and we can make a milk, okay? So this is gonna also add to our creaminess and we're getting lots of protein, we're getting some omega. And I also have discovered a very good purpose for my sesame seeds. I use sesame seeds on my waffle iron to, you know, coat my waffles and it's so tasty. But guess what else? We need calcium and as we get older, ladies, we are in need of even more calcium as you know. So I take the little tiny sesame seeds in a coffee grinder and I grind them up. And so now I am adding some calcium to my smoothie. And also it's good, my son needs it too. So if you have youth who are plant-based, these are your great sources of protein. Put this in their smoothie because you know what, those protein powders can get a little pricey for me. So I try to make sure that I really research what can give us our protein naturally, okay? Now, once again, I'm not putting any sweeteners like honey or sugar. I don't put that in my smoothie, okay? I let the fruit be my sugar, all right? I've got one more source of protein. This one is a little bit odd, but I'm going to use it, and I've started to like it. I put a little because it does give a little bit of a strong taste. These are sprouted lentils. That's right, sprouted lentils. Highest on the list of sources of protein, super nutrient dense, super nutrient dense, especially when it's living. When you sprout something, you have brought it to life. Remember the seed that goes in the ground when you water it, it sprouts, and then you get that plant. So we're gonna put just a little bit 
of lentils. Cause you know what? It's so nutrient dense. It doesn't take much, but you know, it will give a little twist to the flavor. Just a little, but guess what? I have learned that I have got to get beyond just flavor if I'm trying to be healthy. So sometimes it might be a little different, but guess what? It's good for me. Here we go. You ready? right away at work so when I let it sit it gets creamier yes make yourself a protein rich drink the plant way have a great day y'all